Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to a new video. My name is Georgia. So today I just have a spooky little reading vlog, reading some paranormal romances, witch romances to get in the spooky spirit. So I'm just going to let you get straight on to it. So guys, the first book that I'm going to be reading is Bride. I actually started this a little bit this morning. I'm only on chapter three. I am 50 pages in. I am buddy reading this with Marty and Jenna. This has been on my TBR for a while, but I didn't want to read this one until I'd read a few of Ali Hazelwood's other books because I actually only started reading her books like two months ago, if that. So I was waiting until I'd read a few of her other ones. But she as an author is not my all time favourite. Like I don't love the books that I've read from her. But for some reason, I was saying that I feel like this has the potential to be my favourite even before I'd started it. I don't know what it is. I will also say that I've never read a paranormal romance really in terms of a werewolf and a vampire, apart from Twilight. Like obviously I read fantasy books and I love fantasy books, but I think all of the fantasy books that I've read, they've either had like magical realism or it's been a fantasy world or they've been like fae. I've never read about like are they classed as creatures? Like, are vampires and werewolves technically creatures? I don't think I've ever read a romance book like that anyway. So, I am a little bit nervous going into it just because I'm like, I don't know where it's going to go. I know that there has been some controversial takes on this. Like, it has kind of split people's opinions. But so far, I am enjoying it and I am, like, gripped and I'm wanting to know what's going on. I just feel like I'm going to be going feral over a werewolf and... I don't know how to feel about that. But basically this follows so far Misery and Lo. So Lo is our werewolf. Well, a were, they call them wares, not werewolves. So Lo is our were and Misery is our vampire. I actually think that's kind of a slay from her. Like being a vampire and being called Misery, she's doing it for the goth girls. But they essentially enter into an arranged marriage They've kind of had like tension between the wares and the vampires for like years, centuries. And this is kind of like part of a historic like peacekeeping sort of alliance between them. So she gets offered up essentially to marry him. He's the alpha wolf of the pack. And yeah, I'm getting the feeling from where I'm up to at the minute that they already know each other. Like she basically agreed to the marriage once she'd heard his name and he when he'd seen her kind of acted a little bit like weird when they were like at the altar so i'm guessing that they know each other somehow they're gonna have some kind of history maybe that's what i am picking up on but yeah i'm gonna read a little bit more of this because i'm enjoying it so far and i feel like it's gonna kickstart the spooky sort of reads quite nicely So guys, I thought I would give you a quick little update. I am on chapter 15. I am just under 200 pages through, so I'm like nearly halfway-ish or just over halfway. I am loving it, like literally obsessed. The tension between them, the sort of like, I don't even know how to describe it because I would say yes, there is tension, but like it's not necessarily angst. I'm just obsessed. Like the way that she's writing this story, I feel like I have enjoyed so much more than any of her other books. So far, this is 100% my favourite of her books so, like that I've read. I'm just living for it. We've just had the first, not even smut scene, but the first sort of like any type of sexual scene. Guys, I'm dying inside. I'm literally obsessed with it. 
So I'm gonna read a little bit more. Maybe if I can get to like 250 and then we're kind of like on the home stretch last 100 pages. I'm just obsessed. And I don't know if it's because he's called Low, but I am picturing him as Low from the Addicted Callaway Sisters series. I'm picturing him like Low, but just with like almost like shaggier sort of hair and like more facial hair, like a bit more rugged than Low but I don't know if that's just because they have the same name. But yeah, obsessed, eating it up. Questionable things are going on in this book that I never thought I'd be reading about and kind of eating it up, I'm going to be honest. We just need to think that these are paranormal creatures, supernatural beings, literally that are different species, and like, the things that are going on in the smut scenes, I never thought I would be like, completely living it up, in terms of like, I'm going through the pages and I am living for it. I am 288 pages in, I'm on chapter 23, so I have about 100 pages left. I was gonna take a little break, but I think I'm just gonna power on through and finish it because I'm in love. I'm really enjoying like the plot as well as the romance in sort of like, obviously, I think I was saying before, like the whole point of their marriage was to sort of like create an alliance between the wares and the vampires. But you have like the storyline that's going on where like there's like an uprising type thing. They obviously have like enemies and then Misery is trying to find like her best friend who's gone missing. And like I'm enjoying how those storylines are feeding into like their relationship and stuff as well. I'm just, I'm really enjoying it. And like it's a nice sort of palette cleanser in terms of like it's not like a high fantasy book. It's like more than a fluffy romance because of it having different tropes, like it being a more supernatural paranormal romance. I'm just obsessed. Okay, so I have finished Bride, the first book of this vid. Honestly loved it. And I am standing by the fact that it's my favorite book of hers. With the way they ended, I don't know whether we're gonna get a second book or like a follow-on book about potentially a different couple. I actually don't know, but I loved it. I think I would rate it like four stars. There were some questionable scenes in terms of things I've never had any sort of experience with and like have never read about even thought about which were a little bit like not weird to get my head around but I was just like okay you do you but in general loved it literally obsessed maybe I'll be reading more paranormal romances now I'm gonna go straight on to the next book because I literally have no plans today other than to read. So I think next up is going to be My Roommate as a Vampire. This is gonna be the next book. 
so i am guessing this is going to be like cutesy sort of romance but obviously he's a vampire allegedly i have grown to realize that i actually don't like reading what's on the backs of books i like to just kind of like go into them blind so we are just oh my god wait just realized i've got a bookmark in here from when i bought it very cute this is actually for a different book though So yesterday I read for a little bit, I am about 100 pages in, I'm on chapter 7, things are like starting to progress, we are finding out things, things are getting confirmed and I feel like this is the part where now it's going to turn into a romance rather than like setting the scene, discovering, thinking, whatever, that he's a vampire. So now i feel like we're gonna get to like the romance bit i am enjoying it it's very easy to read like even the way that the pages are laid out like the writing is fairly big i don't know i'm enjoying it and that's about it that's all i really have to update on i don't think it's going to be a book where like i absolutely love it and i love the characters and yeah i don't feel any type of way about the guy or the girl I'm just like enjoying it, living for the vibes type thing. We're gonna go and read a little bit more and I shall update you. I'm about, well, I'm just under a third of the way in. So maybe if I read another few chapters. So a little reading update for you. I am up to chapter 14, page 217. I've got like just over a hundred or so pages left. The romance is like kicking in. We're getting little bits of like the backstory, I guess, of Frederick and also like a side plot that I think is gonna pop up. It all feels very low stakes though, which honestly I don't mind and I am really enjoying it. But yeah, we've got like that much left like 120 ish pages left or something i feel like i know roughly where it's gonna go but like i said i'm enjoying it and i'm enjoying the vibes so i am probably just gonna read this until i'm finished now i have got a mocha with my little cinnamon sprinkle on there and my spooky read the best vibes <laughs> Going on to the last few chapters, side plot is picking up. so all finished i did enjoy it he's a like 400 year old vampire 
and he's a Swifty and he was cute so I love it. Like I said it was generally pretty low stakes but it was entertaining and I did enjoy it. Not going to be a favourite but still a good time especially obviously for the season. Probably give it like a 3.25, 3.5. Next one I'm going to start is Happy Medium. I don't really know much about this. She is basically like a con artist I guess and she's pretending to be a like psychic spiritual medium and I don't know if like this guy finds her out or like knows that she's a fraud or something I have no idea again I do like going into books blind but that's the general gist of things so we're gonna give this one a go obviously this is like not paranormal compared to the other ones that I've read they've both had vampires werewolves that kind of thing so this is just normal people Maybe they're like a nod to being spooky, I don't really know. Oh, let's go give this one a go. This cover is literally so cute. I'm gonna just finish up getting ready and then I think I'm gonna start an audiobook on my walk. But only one of them is on Book B, which is The Witch's Back. So I think I'm gonna start that on my little walk and then see how far I get with the audio because I am at work tomorrow so I'll be able to listen to some there as well and then I might pick up the physical book or just stick strictly to the audio I'm not 100% sure yet but I've got my big headphones I actually am not really an audiobook girly on a walk because I'm not a headphones on a walk girly because literally I'm a girl and I'm terrified for my life 90% of the time but we're gonna make an exception today I don't know how people see these headphones because I just feel like I look so silly So I did in fact forget to update you the other day when I started this book, but I am almost up to chapter eight. I have like a few pages left of chapter seven. So where we're up to at the minute, we have our female main character, Gretchen. She is the fake psychic medium. She is essentially a con artist that is pretending to be a spiritual medium, a psychic, whatever you want to call it and she essentially pretends to talk to people's dead loved ones and then she gets recommended by one of her like highest paying most regular clients to go and help out somebody that she knows who is basically having issues selling their farm because there's like weird ghostly things going on so obviously she goes because she's getting paid well but she's thinking in the back of her mind like i don't know what i'm gonna do i'm obviously not a real psychic and the guy is very grumpy, calls her a fraud right off the bat, but there is actually a ghost there that she can somehow see and hear and talk to. That's where I'm up to at the minute. Enjoying it, so I'm just going to read a little bit more. So I did get a fair bit of the way into Happy Medium yesterday. I think I was on like page 90 or something and now I'm on 233. I'm just going on to chapter 22. I am enjoying it. I so far I'm liking the story, liking the characters, I'm liking sort of like the plot and where it's going to go but I do feel like it could be a little bit smaller, like the book could be shorter. I feel like I always say this but like Sometimes, obviously we need to build up the characters and we need to build up the romance and we need to build up the plot, but I don't know, like sometimes books can just be so much shorter in my opinion. But yeah, I have about a hundred or so pages left, maybe like 150 pages left. I finished yesterday on a bit where they are just starting to kind of like explore the sexual tension between them. Um, we've got no like actual romance yet. The guy is kind of still in his like grumpy sort of phase but does nice things but kind of doesn't want you to know that he likes you and you can just tell that she is falling for him too. So like I am enjoying it. I just kind of wish it would be 
a little bit quicker, but not that it's slow paced. I don't really know what I'm getting at. Either way, I'm actually just going to see if I can finish this now because, yeah, I have like 150 pages left. And then I want to see if we can finish the physical book of the audiobook that I started. So that's the plan for today. We're just going to read some spooky reads, get all cozy and stuff. So, very cute. So I'm on to like the last 50, 60, 70 pages. I am actually really loving, so maybe like a mild spoiler to the plot because I didn't read the back so I didn't know what it was about going into it. But we have an actual ghost situation and he is like a side character in the plot or like he is quite important to the plot. I am loving him, like his character is just so fun and he is so cute and i'm enjoying what that is adding to the story because i think without that little bit of the plot which i guess like is kind of what the whole book is based around but i think that that is really making the book worth it like i'm really enjoying that bit and seeing how that's gonna pan out we've got like a little bit of a a side plot going on with Gretchen who's our main girl we've got a bit going on about her dad and I don't know if that's gonna like sort of be the third act break up something to do with that and yeah I don't know so we're getting to towards the end I feel like we might be past third act break up but they're not even together to have like a third act break up I don't know but yeah we're on to the last little bit so I'm just gonna finish this up is down and finished i did enjoy it and like i said i liked how the whole like ghost storyline came into it and i was actually quite sad about that little bit and that ending but we didn't well we did get closure on the bit that i was saying about a dad but i kind of thought that that was going to have more of like an input on the book and their relationship and the plot but I did enjoy it, I liked it. Like I said, I do just feel like it could have been a little bit shorter. Like it's 390 pages, which I feel like, especially for a more, I don't know actually, because it didn't feel like a spooky sort of romance in the same way that like the ex hex does or something. Like I feel like I never really root for the couple in those type of books, but for this one, like I actually really did like the couple. But I don't know how I would rate this. Maybe like a 3.5. I enjoyed it, but it's not gonna be like a new favourite, a new favourite couple or anything like that. But a good sort of seasonal type of read, you know? I feel like I'm saying the same thing about all of these books, but I feel like I did know going into them that they weren't gonna be my favourite but we're just reading them for the vibes. Next one that I'm going to move on to is The Witch is Back. So I have been listening to this on the audiobook. On the audiobook? I've been listening to the audiobook version of this. I need to check where I'm up to on that. I'm sure it said I had like four hours left so I'm quite far in but honestly I feel like I've tuned out for a lot of it because I was listening to it at work and then I was listening to it whilst I was like walking the dogs and yeah i don't know i feel like i have maybe just tuned out a little bit so i need to see where i'm up to but this one basically follows our witch emma she was in a sort of arranged marriage well arranged engagement to bastian but then he left because he essentially there was something in the contract of the marriage that he didn't want or like he didn't want to agree to so he just upped and left but Emma had feelings for him and then he basically walks back in 
and once I like restart things like kickstart things back up so I'm gonna need to see where I was up to because I really don't remember let me go do that now actually okay so I have checked and I was actually not as far into it as I thought I was on well just a little bit into chapter 10 I thought that I had four hours left but it says I have eight hours left but because I listened to my audiobooks on two times speed I was like well I only have four hours left of the book which technically I do but not like four hours worth does that make sense I don't know either way I'm up to chapter 10 well I was like a little bit into it but I'm gonna start from here so I'm on page 132 it makes sense as to why I felt like I didn't really know what was going on because I'm actually not that far into it but I think I'm gonna move to downstairs and we will read some of this like 75% into this book. I'm on chapter 21, page 272. Probably got like 100 pages left. I've read a few more chapters, but I'm just not loving this book. I think like it's the one that I'm just the least emotionally invested in. I don't know, I'm just not feeling it all that much, but I'm going to switch back over to audio whilst I drive into work and hopefully we will finish it up. Things are obviously like developing with the couple and the storyline, but I'm just not overly a fan of either of them to be honest and the way they've like been written. Okay, I apologise for obviously the like car noise, but I'm going on to the last few chapters and I'm still sticking by what I said, like I'm just not particularly loving it. It is very like cute spooky well is it cute i don't know it's like obviously the spooky seasonal vibes but i'm just not really loving like the couple and i don't know certain like tropes or ways of wording it i feel like i actually saw a goodreads review that said it's almost as if they were written by a man and i feel like that just kind of explains how i feel about the whole book so finished the book didn't love we'd probably give it like a three stars but that wraps up this video anyway thank you so much for watching i do hope you enjoyed and hopefully i'll see you in the next one bye guys